Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world, this is Chris, aka Barnum 11970, and as always, I thank you guys for watching my video. All right, this I really think needs to be said at this point because um, the community that we are in, and I'm talking about people who are trying to search for truth, tr people talking about the government, the corruptions, gold and silver, even bitcoins, things of that nature, this community. Because the majority of us are not talking about video games. Uh, we're not talking about what's going on on American Idol and other things that waste our time. We're talking about real things that matter to us and trying to fix the system. There's an, the oldest trick in the book called Divide and Conquer. And as we see what's going on in this community, I'm going to keep using that in quotes because it's not a community. It's just a bunch of people that have a common interest doing it in their own separate ways but we see with people like for example dean clifford ending up being basically kidnapped and taken into jail without proper warrants um i don't know the full t details about santos Bonacci, but he was also taken from his house without proper warrants and arrested and i see this community not realizing that divide and conquer is the oldest trick in the book. And it works still to this day like a charm. And the people just don't get it. And I see so much hypocrisy. Like, for example, I posted about um, last night about how there is a um, going to be a price increase in the gold and silver and platinum due to a fact of a strike happening in, in uh, South Africa. In one of the biggest platinum mines which also they also take extract gold and silver as well and of course the next day the gold and silver rises i was going to make a video about it but i just wasn't in the mood so unfortunately that didn't happen but i all of a sudden start getting comments saying oh you know you shouldn't be getting gold because it's controlled by the elite blah 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 which may or may not be true because it's actually it's not the metals that are the problem it's the governments and the banks and the corruption behind it when they use naked paper shorts to manipulate the prices up and down on the physical metals. And since less than 1% of the world's population actually uses physical metal, the rest of the people that are investing in gold and silver are just investing in the paper market. And that's what the manipulation is. But the, the uh, hypocrisy in it is when people say things like, oh, you shouldn't have the precious metals because they're corrupted by the government. Well, last time I checked, the government controls the media. They control gas, oil, electricity, health, education. So are those very same people um, trading one good and service for another good and service and not using money or credit cards? Are they um, not using cars to get where they need to go throughout the day? Do they not use gas, heat, or electric to heat their homes? Do they have a mortgage? The hypocrisy in this community is amazing because I talked to some very, and I'm again, I'm going to keep using quotes. It's kind of sarcastic, kind of facetious, but I'm trying to make a point. Some very smart people. And I'm seeing people now when people like Dean Clifford and Santos Bonacci and I'm sure others that go to jail, all the nitpicking, all the fighting, all the internal, oh, I like him better than this person. Divide and Conquer is made to take a united front and separate it so it's easier to defeat them because instead of them all uniting into one cause they are all over the place and it's just easier to pick them off one by one and you know what i don't have a harvard degree i am not a rocket scientist i will never be able to break down the molecular structure of an atom and describe it in full detail for educational purposes and yet Divide and conquer for me is one of the easiest things to see and how easy it is to work in this because I've tried to work with so many different people only to basically be ignored. And it seems to be a bunch of individuals trying to look to, I guess, profit or to become famous instead of really trying to see the big goal, which means until we get rid of the corrupt system, none of this stuff will change. And believe me, I hate having to use dollars. I have them just like everybody else does. I can't trade cows for food 
if I don't have them and I don't have anything worthy of being able to get to the point where I could spend my whole life using trade. But what I try and do is whenever I make any kind of fiat dollars, I convert them into precious metals, which is real money if you go by the history of money. It just frustrates me when I see people in this community back and forth fighting amongst one another. And instead of us uniting against a united front, because our enemy, the government, and the people that run the government, and the people that run the Fed, and the people that run the banks, and the people that run the Vatican, and the people who run whatever level it goes to, they're pretty united. They've been doing this for a very long time. And people need to stop complaining that we're running around in a maze they created. And they got little pieces and pieces of cheese here and there, so you could seem like you're a victor, but you're still in their maze. And they just remove walls and place walls in different places and direct you where they want you to go. And we usually get led to dead ends. And we all sit there complaining about it. When all we have to do is just climb out of their maze and say, I don't want to play their game anymore. Like they say in that movie, The War Games. At the end of the movie, when the computer finally gets it, after playing the, um, itself in tic-tac-toe and realizing that it can't win no matter what it does... They finally realize that the best move is not to play. And yet that's what we continue to do. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I have all the solutions, because if I did, I would create them and the world would be a better place. I'm not going to sit here and think I have an ego big enough to do that on my own. And there are people in this community that say, oh, well, we're all gods and we could do whatever we want. Well, I believe that because we are part of the one that we are all gods in ourselves. But unless we have the power of a god and can snap our finger and the world instantly changes, until we have that power, we're not as powerful as we say we are. We have the potential, but potential can only go so far. You know, how many sports, sports athletes in, in the history of talking about rookies and things have talked about the fact of this person has potential and never became anything? at least as far as the sports are concerned. But the judgments have to stop. The division has to stop. The pointing the fingers, the betrayals, the lies. I, I don't understand the purpose of this for some people. I am legitimately here because I'm so tired of the corruption. I want to find a way out. And I've been hated for it. I've been attacked for it. And that's fine because as you can see, I'm still here. It doesn't stop me and it's not going to. I mean, until the day I decide I no longer wish to breathe, and my service here on this planet has ended, I'm going to continue to do this because I know what's right. And I'm not going to sit here and claim this wanting to be liberally free and then sit here and collect millions of dollars behind people's backs and profit from it or selling out other people so I can look better on a video. I mean, really? Are people with egos that big? And I will always be humble. And I've seen so many people over the years how their egos get so out of control. And if people who have watched my videos since the beginning when I had my original channel of Barnon 11967, I haven't changed. Or at least I've changed for the better, at least I think in my opinion. And some of you will know the, some of the circumstances of why I went through what I was going through at a certain point. I won't even get into that anymore because it's just not worth talking about because the past is the past. The future you can't control. It's only the present. It's only the now. So until we all decide to let go of the egos and let go of the judgments and realize we're not perfect and we are going to make mistakes. And when you make a mistake, you try your best to fix it. But if we're going to spend this community time all fighting amongst each other, all just doing our little separate part, why are we complaining that we can't fix a united front, which is our enemy? And see the bigger picture. Because like for example. Like I said earlier. Precious metals are not the problem. It's the manipulation of the paper price. So if there are people out there who are playing the paper game. And making money from it. Well they're not helping to eliminate the problem. So a few people may make some profits. But the majority of people suffer. I mean look at things for example like free trade. Sounds good because you have the word free in it. 
but all it does is benefits major corporations by shipping things all the businesses overseas so they can get cheap labor and they don't have to pay taxes and they can make more profit. But all that does is damage us. Why is it that I, the person that has a high school education, can get this stuff? And some of the smartest people I've ever encountered in my life just can't seem to grasp this concept. And the judgments and the finger pointing about, oh, you're wrong and you're wrong and you're this, it's got to stop. Now, we're all, we all can't sit there and not make some kind of judgment. It's just human nature, unfortunately. But if you spend your whole life judging other people, you really need to look at yourself. I've made judgments in the past. I can't help it. I'm human. But I don't spend my whole life doing it. And if I if I am wrong, I will be the first person to admit it. And those who watch my channel for the longest time know that when I've ever had my problems, whether they were brought on to me or I brought them on myself, I've always been man enough to at least admit them and get through them. It's all about integrity. It's all about being genuine. doesn't mean that you have to be perfect because no one is. And if we are, we're certainly not acting it. But until this community starts working together and starts uniting on a common front, we're just being led in that maze. And a bunch of people walking around this maze that they can easily climb out of they're just going in separate directions and bitching and moaning that it's just not fair that they can't find the cheese. And some of the people get the cheese and they're happy for it. It's like, wow, I've got my goal. Are we all going to get it yet? That's why it's frustrating in this community for me to do what I'm doing. Because I don't use this to sell books or to profit from it or earn a living from it. I do it because I'm passionate about the truth. And wanting to help people. And I'm not ready to give up. And yes, it's a difficult task. And I may never achieve my goal. But I've always been one of those people I'd rather try and fail than to never try at all. So for the people who are going to make the comments like, oh, why are you wasting your time? Well, if I'm doing it because it's my passion and I'm doing it because I feel it's right, then I'm not wasting my time. Basically, the people that are telling me I'm wasting my time are wasting their time. Because here I am trying to make a positive change, and those people are going to take their free time, instead of doing something positive, coming onto my channel or other people's channels just to make a judgment and telling other people what they should be doing. Sounds more like a waste of time to me. And if those people would actually, instead of taking their wisdom, their intelligence, and their judgments, and using it for negative, if they actually started using it for more positive things, we could make this world a better place. It's just that simple. And people fall for things all the time. I find it so funny that people will just believe everything that's based on what's said in a media or what's said from a politician. The very people who are stealing and lying from you, you're taking advice from and you're saying, well, they're professionals. Well, yeah, they're professionals. They're professionals at stealing your money, at lying to you, at causing corruption, at raping the planet. They're professionals at that. And people judge me because I'm not wearing a suit and tie and I don't have a Harvard degree. And yet, I'm not stealing from anybody. I'm not out trying to lie to people to boost my ego or to gain a uh, financial gain a financial ability over you. I'm not taking from you. But people hate people like me. They need, maybe they need to look at themselves. There were people that I followed, and I'm not here to point fingers and name names. But there were people I followed that I really believed in that I don't really listen to anymore because the hypocrisy, the judgments, the egos, to me, don't suggest truth in trying to help people. It sounds to me a bunch of people that were bullied most of their lives, and now that they have a little bit of power through their knowledge, they're letting it get to their head. It doesn't make them any better. The idea is to rise above, because let me tell you something, when I was younger and I was a child, I was made fun of all the time. I was um, the type of guy that didn't get the date, didn't get the girl, was picked on. I don't need to sit here now and become one of those people because now I have that ability. And when I hit my mid-20s, 
I was dating all the time. I was getting girls that most guys would be jealous of. I have a beautiful wife now. But I don't sit there and abuse her or put her down because I have some ego that I need to get in check because what happened to me as a child. I mean, I was raised by an alcoholic, abusive alcoholic. I don't even drink because you're in control of your own destiny. And it's so easy to say, well, you know, I'm an alcoholic because my father was an alcoholic or I beat my children because I was beaten. That's easy. That takes no effort. What does take an effort is to realize that if you were a child that was beaten, to know what it feels like and not want to do that to someone else or to live in a family of alcoholism and see the carnage that it creates to never want to be in that position to do it to someone else. It's learning. But that takes thought. That takes responsibility. It's so easy to point fingers at someone else and judge them. But all that's doing is showing the weakness of yourself. And most people don't like to admit that. And people ask me all the time, why am I always, you know, so able to move on to things and to forgive and to be so calm? I mean, I haven't always been that way, but again, with certain circumstances, which I won't get into, it's not always easy. But I've realized my faults and I try my best to get past them. And I try and work with others. And I do this for the legitimate reasons. It doesn't mean I get everything right. But at least the people that watch us, even the haters, can say that I've never made videos that purposely deceive people to extract something from them. And as you can see, I get an average of anywhere between five and 800 views on a video. So I'm not here to become popular. I don't care about that. And you can also see I'm not afraid to show who I am. Because I don't live in fear. And so many people are so afraid of the consequences of what might happen. Live your own life. But help others to live theirs in a better way. And see the bigger picture. Because yes, in this realm of lies and deceit, you could profit. You can make a good amount of money. But if it's hurting the community, if it's hurting the planet, if it's hurting the people, and ultimately the sh enslaves us even deeper, is it worth it? And there's a motto that I've lived with my whole life, and I hope you will think about this the next time you're about to make a rash decision that could hurt others. Just because you can does not mean you should. Thank you for watching. Peace.